Hi everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. I wanted to do a reading on Janet Mercury. Um, she is a Nickelodeon star um, who has, I think, got a book coming out. Um, but also she's been very vocal in the past as well about her experience on Nickelodeon and working with Dan Schneider and all those people in the background. And the story that I recently heard was that she came out and said that she was given alcohol as a young kid and photographed in bikini uh, as well. So I think we all kind of know what Hollywood, Disney, Nickelodeon, all of them is about. All of those who are on this channel, obviously, I feel most, for the most part, feel the same way. Um, so let's just have a look at um, Jeanette McCurdy because I feel like she's coming out with this book and she's going to expose a lot. And I feel like the house of cards is coming down, guys. That's what I feel like. Honestly, I feel like things are just slowly, not as fast as probably we would like, but I feel like slowly, slowly things are starting to just kind of come to the surface of all these things that were hidden and done in the dark. And you know, everything that's done in the dark always comes out in the light of day. So I'm just going to ask about this book and about Jeanette McCurdy and, you know, what um, her affiliation is right now with, with them at if any at all. And I know she worked with Ariana Grande, so I want to kind of check, like, what was her relationship with Ariana Grande and Dan Schneider. So let's go from there. All right. Uh, Jeanette McCurdy. Jeanette McCurdy. Jeanette McCurdy. Why can you tell us about Jeanette McCurdy's Spirit Guides and Angels? What do you want us to know about Jeanette McCurdy right now with her book coming out? Information being exposed. Jeanette McCurdy. Okay. She's moving on along with the information. That's for sure. Uh, she was paid for this book, but I also feel like she was made an offer um, to talk about the past. Yeah, she was made an offer to talk about the past. Mm -hmm. She was also made... Okay, so there's uh, two things going on here. She was made an offer not to talk about the past, and she was also made an offer to talk about the past. But she was made an offer not to talk about it from the people who it implicates, and she was made an offer by other people to say, hey, do you want to tell your story? If that makes sense, right? Uh-huh, yep. Mm -hmm. Justice, yep. Things are coming out, guys. Oh, secrets are coming out. Yeah, the tides are changing. Wheel of Fortune. This is actually a really good reading, actually. Um, I feel like this is kind of telling us that information is coming out and I feel like Janet McCurdy uh, or Jeanette McCurdy I don't know if I'm saying that right um, I feel like she doesn't actually realize how important she is in this whole thing and you know I can tell you guys sometimes God puts his people uh, in situations like this so that we can bring out the light and we have an option we have a choice right we have a choice to tell the truth we have a choice to get into the stuff if we want money and fame and fortune we have a choice to say no to it and i feel like J jeanette said no and justice is coming out for her and i think things were done to her but i this is talking about the offer this is talking about there was movement with it and she didn't really she she took she refused the money i think i, I think i vaguely remember somebody or a story where i saw that she actually did refuse it but this is kind of confirming that she refused money from them and she took money to talk about the truth, to bring the truth out. And I feel like she um, is more important in this role of all information coming out than she realizes and maybe other people realize. But she's she's about to change the narrative of things going on. She's about to talk about things uh, that we kind of all um, suspect. But she's going to confirm it. All right, let's see. Um, Jeanette McCurdy. Um, what was Jeanette McCurdy's relationship like with her mother? I know that her mo it was very volatile, and I know that she... I heard from articles and stories and things like that that she didn't have a very good relationship with her mother. Her mother wanted it more than she did. Like, she didn't really want to be famous. But like I said, God puts people in these positions for a reason, and I think he put her in the position because she's strong enough and tough enough to get through it. And she came out the other side and she's going to talk about what happened and what went on. 
um she's gonna expose it um what is her relationship like with her mom let's just confirm it let's just see for ourselves so what is the relationship like janet mccurney and her mother i don't know if it's janet or jeanette i think i'm saying it wrong jeanette mccurney's relationship her and her mother oh oh uh, i think it's broken i think it's a bro it was a broken relationship yeah yeah yeah, there is no movement. There's very emotionally unstable and balanced. Um, it wasn't what Jeanette wanted. It was what her mother wanted. And she followed what her mother, because she was young. She was a kid and her mother wanted security and money. Uh, yeah, her mother wanted this more than she did. Her mother wanted her to go into this, but it was very volatile. It was very unstable emotionally. And it was what her mother wanted. Her mother wanted her to get into this world. Her mother was addicted to fame and fortune. And she pushed Jeanette to do it as much as she, as she could. Okay what is the relationship between Jeanette and woo, I was gonna say and Dan Schneider but this is kid right here is kid and red flag and she became successful if she, or she probably probably would have been more successful if she did what he wanted her to do yeah I think that you know, it's self-explanatory guys right you know we kind of have an inkling about what went on right uh, what is the relationship or what was the relationship? It's very energetic these cards guys. What was the relationship between Janet and Dan Schneider? What is the relationship between I don't I don't feel that there's a relationship now. I think they're scared of her to be honest That's kind of what I'm feeling here and I feel like she's like No holds bar, you know, I feel like she's just going at it because she didn't she she didn't sign the offer that they made her young when she was younger which could have been a lot of money and I think now they're like, shit, we're going to excuse my language. Uh, you know, she's going to talk about it and she, there's no legalities about it, right? There's no paperwork about it. So what's the relationship in the past between Jeanette McCurdy and Dan Schneider? Relationship in the past. <laughs> Guys, I don't need to say anything. Okay. You know what I'm talking about there, right? Children and lovers. Okay. It's very sad. Yeah. Heartbroken yeah he betrayed her in that most horrible way oh part of the occult it's right here guys you know what i'm saying um and it was very fast yeah it was very fast she was taken advantage of unfortunately guys allegedly in team purposes and i feel like maybe as a kid she fell in love with him and she thought it was something it wasn't and it was them using you know they're like hey you do this we'll make you famous but they harness the energy of these people. It's not just about making somebody famous, guys. This is there's a soul connection here. There's an energy of spirit, and you know they take when you take innocence from somebody, you take their essence. You take them. You know you're taking their energy. You're taking who they are, and you're siphoning that, and it makes the person go down and down within themselves, lower and lower, and then they start to do drugs, or then they start to become sex workers or strippers or whatever and not that there's anything wrong with that because i think people need to do what they need to do i just think that when you're selling your body to people who you shouldn't be selling your body to as you get older or because you've been through other traumatic events it's um you get more and more of those energies in you or around you that you shouldn't get into because sexual transfer of energy is soul ties so when you're young and you don't really have a choice you get these soul ties that you don't really have a choice with you know that's why i feel bad for the kids who are in this as a kid because they don't have a choice and then they grow up to be drug addicts or out of control because of everything that's around them the spirits that are around them there's movement though about what's happening uh, it's going to be exposed family i think her mother knew about it her mother kind of sold her out for it yeah, her mother, it was teamwork, yeah. Her mother definitely knew about it, and her mother did it for money. Her mother basically sold it for money, allegedly for entertainment purposes. All right, can you tell me about Janet McCurdy and the relationship between her and Ariana Grande? Can you tell me about the relationship between Janet McCurdy, oh, was that off camera? Uh, about Janet McCurdy and Ariana Grande. What was the relationship like? I know that they were in a couple of shows together, to be honest, because I never watched these shows um i've seen snippets here and there but i 
honestly I just kind of here and there heard about the story as well and I just want to see what I can see for her because I feel like she's an integral part on bringing the house of cards down so to speak so I just want to see what is Janet McCurdy's relationship let's look at the past what was their past relationship like and then we'll look at current what is their past relationship like okay it was very cold I would say but like very like I don't like you I don't like you I think it was very cold like I think Janet really wanted to be friends with Ariana, to be honest with you, Jeanette. When it really wanted to be friends with Ariana and Ariana was like, no, because you're not a nice person. I feel like... Was she bullied? Yeah, it was very emotional. I feel like uh, Jeanette really, as a kid, was kind of like, hey, let's be friends, let's do this. And I feel like they bullied her because I feel like she was given a lot more opportunities as a kid because of what happened to her. And she was promised a lot more things. And I feel like they were like, no, they like jealousy. I think there was a jealousy f impact here. There was a very, there was a lot of jealousy and people wanted to climb to the top to be fulfilled everybody wanted to be fulfilled everybody was fighting to 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 be the, the the lead but I don't feel like Jeanette really wanted it as much I think she did in the beginning at one point when she I feel like when she had feelings for Dan Schneider allegedly for intent purposes and she was kind of like thinking that this was it um she couldn't understand why people were being other girls were being mean to her and it was because they were jealous because they wanted what she was getting Oh, judgment is coming so this is their past relationship yeah their past relationship is dead like they completely didn't like each other towards the end they try i feel like they tried to to make amends and i feel like there was a new show that was about to start and they kind of became friendly towards the end and then i think ariana got the lead i think i can't remember for sure but this is saying kind of like that um what is the relationship like now what is the relationship like now? What is Ariana Grande's relationship like now with Jeanette McCurdy? What is their current relationship? Yeah, I feel like Ariana Grande is a little bit nervous about this information. Yeah, Ariana Grande is very nervous about this information coming out. Um, yeah, um, she doesn't want the illusion of, of her innocence to be blown out of the water, allegedly for intent purposes. Yeah, the truth is going to come out. She's scared that the truth is going to come out. She's going to have to speak on it. I don't think she wants to talk about it. What is their current relationship? Yeah, conflict. Their current relationship is, is conflict right now. They're still... I don't think they're really speaking to each other. Yeah, it's emotional. Emotional. Yeah, they're, it's more of a mental sort of thing. I think that Ariana Grande is thinking about reaching out to, to, to see, but I don't think she knows how. It's kind of like, what do I do? How do I say it? How do I speak about her about this with her? Because I feel like they have they've had a very turbulent and tumultuous relationship, so she's not really sure how to approach it. But she's considering reaching out to her. I think. Yeah, yeah, she's deciding. That's exactly what I said. She's deciding whether she's looking at it from here and see what happens with the book and how much information actually comes out. Um, is this book gonna be groundbreaking? Like, is this information that Jeanette is? putting out in the public is it gonna make an impact like is it gonna be the start of what i'm feeling like a start of the house of cards all falling down what is this impact of her information and her book what is the impact gonna be of janet mccurdy's book and information coming out internet okay it's gonna be on the internet people are gonna be talking about it um uh, let me see what else well, people are going to be curious about it, but this defeat, I'm I'm trying to think if it's going to be defeat for them, thinking, okay, it's coming out, there's nothing we can do, or if it's defeat for her, that it's not quite what she wants. Okay, people are going to start looking at it. Yeah, it's going to cause a lot of, yeah, okay, it's going to cause a lot of anxiety for people. 
Jeanette is, is secure. She's comfortable enough to speak about this information, but it's a lot of people are, are nervous about this information coming out. They're wondering how the public is going to take it. Jeanette is standing firm. Jeanette is standing strong. She's way beyond her time and her years. Yeah, she's bringing out that they crossed boundaries with her. Other people are feeling like she's crossing boundaries with them right now, but she's coming out saying, no, you crossed boundaries with me before when I was a kid. Yeah, they're, I feel like they're stuck. They're stuck with this. Yeah, this is an opportunity for her. I think it is going to be... Yeah, this is integrity. She... This is... Uh, she's coming out with all this information and they're stuck. And I think they're waiting to see how the public reaction let's ask that how is the public reaction going to be because i feel like it they're worried that it will be and they don't actually know how the public are going to react to this so let's see what how are the public going to react to all this information coming up from jeanette how is the public going to react to all this information coming out from jeanette how is the public going to react to all this information coming out from jeanette okay there's going to be information yeah oh okay father of the tarot I feel like it's going to be a Britney thing. I feel like people are going to be like, it's going to be pocketed, you know, like a pocket of people who are following her and know this about Nickelodeon, know this about all these people allegedly for entertainment purposes are going to be like, okay, we're going to stand by you. We're going to fight with you and for you. Yeah, I think it's, it might be isolated, unfortunately. It might be like an isolation where people, they might try to stop all the information from coming. I think they're still trying to stop the information. Yeah. They're trying to stop the information, disinterested. Yeah, they're going to try and stop the flow of people getting all the information that she's told. They're going to not try, they're going to try to like block her promotion, block it. It's a burden. Some people are going to be like, oh, here we go again. Or like, oh, we already know about it. And because you keep hearing little bits and pieces of it, people are just kind of over it already. And other people are just like, oh, here we go again with another story. Another child start talking about this. But this is different. Her book is different. This information is different. It's coming at a, like a really interesting time. But I don't know if people are going to really see it that way, to be honest. Patience, yeah, patience. People are going to have to rest, yeah. It's like people don't want to acknowledge what's going on. Abundance, yeah. I feel like there's going to be pockets. There's going to be people who are like with it, like the like free Britney. It's going to be like, yeah, she's right. Yeah, we need to take these guys down. And then there's going to be other people like, yeah, well, there's nothing really we can do. We know it's happening, but there's nothing really we can do. And then I feel like there's going to be people who are like, oh, not this again. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah, this is past life stuff, but it's, it's the timing. There's something about the timing of her information in her book. I'm not entirely sure if everybody's going to be, it's going to be like some people now and yes, and some people later, yes, and other people are, like I said, but I feel like there's something about the timing. It's very important, her information that's coming out now. The timing of this is very important. So I feel like um, it is going to be important, but it might not be important right now. It, like down the line in future times I feel like the information is going to be very important and we're going to be like oh my gosh remember when Jeanette came out and said all these things and it's going to be it's like linked to something to something to something. like they're all interlinked right it's six degrees of separation so this is all linked to each other and there's something about the timing of her book and her information coming out all right guys I hope this is uh helpful and useful and I hope you enjoyed the reading for entertainment purposes only guys because you know you know how it goes and uh take care of yourselves please 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 and uh take care of each other if you can okay thank you very much and i hope you have a great day until next time bye for now